Hi Year 8, I hope you're doing really well and keeping safe. Um, every week um, I'll be posting mm -hmm. videos on um, topics that we'll be covering this term. So we'll be looking at Buddhism and the first lesson is on the introduction of Buddhism. So in this short video I will share with you a story about a man called Siddhartha Gautama. But before I begin that I just want to say um, a little something to you all. I want you to know that your well-being, your safety, your education and your learning is of the most important priority to us all and that if at any point in this video you feel like you're unsure, you're still a bit uncertain and you need a bit more clarity then please feel free to email me and I will try and do my best to support you. Okay, so let's get started. Siddhartha Gautama was an Indian prince who left behind a life of luxury to become a wandering holy man and finally an enlightened being. The Buddha's teachings show, that people, uh, show people the nature of reality and the path to enlightenment. Siddhartha's father ruled a small kingdom and his mother was a princess of another clan. He was born into a life of luxury. At the celebration of his birth, it was predicted that Siddhartha would either become a great king or a great holy man. The king wanted his son to inherit the kingdom. Therefore, he decided to prevent Siddhartha from becoming interested in the life of a holy man and the world outside the palace. The king ordered the young prince to be protect protected from all evidence of suffering and imperfection, including sickness, old age and death. As he grew, Siddhartha's curiosity could not be contained. He felt that his life of luxury was empty. Eventually, the tension between his family, home life and the challenge of suffering and death became too much. Siddhartha left home on his own, as tradition has it, slipping away in the dead of night, leaving his family in despair. In a dramatic moment deep in the wilderness, he abandoned his horse and cropped his hair. He became a religious wanderer and sought out the company of others doing the same. He travelled south into the neighbouring kingdom of modern Bihar, where he was spotted by the young king Bimbisara. At the age of 29, he persuaded his chariot driver Channa to take him out of the palace to, to the city. There he encountered the four sites. Number one. An old person. Siddhartha had never seen an old person before. He asked his chariot driver, Chenna, what he was looking at. Chenna explained that when people get older, they physically decline. Number two, a sick person. When Siddhartha saw an ill person by the side of the road, he was upset as he had never seen uh, an ill person before. Chenna explained that during their lives, people get ill. Number three, a dead person. The third sight was a dead person being carried. Chenna explained that everyone dies eventually. And number four, a holy man who lived a life of self-denial. This was the fourth sight. This person made Siddhartha curious because the holy man was looking to understand truth. Okay, so there's four sights that Siddhartha had seen. Number one is an old person. Number two is a sick person. Number three is a dead person and number four is a holy man. So let me just repeat that one more time. Number one is an old person. Number two is a um, sick person. Number three is a dead person and number four is a holy man. Okay. I hope that story um, has helped. Um, please feel free to contact me if you need more clarity. Um, I'm more than happy to send you a copy of the story. Um, I hope you all keep safe um, and please keep, stay vigilant um, and until then I hope to see you next time.